I heard that eating on YouTube is a thing now. Bon appétit, folks. It's Monday morning. It is brutally cold in my classroom. Uh, we had a snowstorm over the weekend. Um, it actually snowed in my classroom. Uh, it's probably melted by now, but when I showed up, there was snow on the windowsill. That's not pleasant. But I've got to say, um, two things happened to me over the past um, three days that really has left uh, an impression on me. The first thing was on Friday, I had our school board's leadership workshop slash conference uh, for all students. And I got a really nice compliment from a professional motivational speaker, workshop giver. Um, I, I animated, I hosted, emceed uh, a gym riot, which is basically a wacky obstacle course race, um, you know, team against team. And he said that I was a really good animator. And to hear that coming from a professional motiva motivational speaker, it, it means a lot. It means a lot. It means that, okay, um, it's not just like, you know, a polite compliment given by, by someone just in passing. Like he, he was sincere. He said that I had a lot of good energy. And that's, and that's fantastic to hear it coming from, from a pro. The second thing was not at all what I was expecting. A former student of mine has become a physical trainer. And uh, I said, why not? Why not, you know, get some advice from him? So I met him over the weekend. And he shared with me something that, to this day, he still remembers that happened in my classroom. Words that I had said. Um, about how your university degree does not necessarily define your success. You can have a university degree and have zero success, and you can have a vocational degree or no degree at all and be super successful. I'm paraphrasing because I'm sure I sounded way more clever back then. But the fact that he could still remember what I said, and he, he even remembered vividly where I was and how the classroom was set up, that's, that's huge. That, that means that what I say actually does have an impact. Because this was a kid who was planning on going into dentistry, and next thing you know, he redirected his career into physical therapy and, and physical training. So it, it, means, it means a whole lot to know this after the fact, not just like the moment it happens, but years down the line. It means that, that your words your words are being heard. Uh, I don't care if you want to follow the advice or not, but the fact that he remembered those words and they had some meaning, it's huge. So, so those are my thoughts on a really cold Monday morning. It is minus 35 with the windshield. I am freezing my tush off. My classroom is frozen. I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna take some footage of how it snowed in my classroom and, and, and and you'll see it's 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 insane. So happy Monday folks. Stay warm, stay safe. See, this is this is snow. This is snow. It's snow from the window. It snowed inside my room. No. Icicles.